Should be a merch oh store. Oh, oh, paying all my messy lives. All good? Mm. Show up that mug. Let's say like different ways to say poop. Like until we run out. Oh, are they like we alternate? Yeah. Okay. All okay. cat. All toxi. All the tarko. Poop. I didn't say only Cantonese. Oh. Oh. Uh, shit. Fazer. Turd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, no. Typing. Oh, mm. sophisticated. Number two. Oh. Sophisticated too. Matae. <laughs> Damn it. That's my weakness. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. It's almost like episode 100. It's 10 episodes to 100. Nine episodes. Like, because this episode is going to be number 91. Yeah. So, oh my God, we should do countdown. Or and like, then we will have episode 100 merch. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's been, how does it feel having 100 episodes, having, having been editing 100 episodes? Well, you've edited like two or three. <laughs> Yes, um, it's been good. It's been nice. It's been rewarding. Um, like what? Thank you. I don't know. I feel like I could be better. I feel like I'm still lazy. I feel like our videos can be better, but I'm just choosing the lazy route. It looks okay now, in my opinion. Mm. There's always room for improvement. You know. Well, of course, la. But yeah. still proud <clears throat> for Instagram. You know, we're like fifty nine now, dude. Yeah, it's almost sixty, and then who knows? Ha <laughs> ha. Then you're gonna be here after this episode. Oh, I see. Like when it's posted. And when I was in Macau, right? They were. It was having the. Go check you up say but lean tall check you up say like white tea and mm. if people keep burning those papers and then you know how the residue you can't step on it even the residue un- you know like the papers that like fly away and then the they're on the, yeah, the f- on the floor dust. yeah and they're on the floor you can't step on it because you'll get bad luck and then it's like dude stop littering in the first place like, <laughs> you know. And then, so it's like trash there. Like, no one wants to touch it because we're not even getting bad luck. But yeah. Um, I After my classmate said that it's bad luck, I I don't want to step. Like, I even I don't believe it. I still don't step it. You know, I'm like, damn. I hope someone picks this up. It reminds me of, like, the little black... Um circles on the floor and for a long time i didn't know they were chewing gum <laughs> you know what i'm talking about i do and in singapore they don't have because it's a, it's banned it's yeah i mean gum. but like for example i'm in arkansas i don't really see any stuff like that it's only in the city like a very crowded place then you'll see like a bunch of black yeah macaws a lot Herm how cow smelly Funny fact guys smell good mouth Plastic. Hung hao gao. Hung hao gao. Oh my god. Gao, like plastic. Because it is like chewing a plastic. So guys, I had I used to have a mole here. Some <laughs> history lesson on me. Hello. What? Hello. I am Pajella. Let me introduce myself. Um, you see my skin. It's like that, yeah? Um, I have black hair, I have one sister, baby sister, I born in one night out of five. Uh, and I took it out and Yasmin was actually there when I took it out. I had to put her behind the curtain because she was like, 
oh my god oh oh because you know i couldn't afford going to the doctors like do laser laser like i ain't got no two thousand month on me but but i had i so i went to like a stingy marketplace in macau in yao hon gaisi and it was like 200 mop like to remove but they like just used like a hook and like and she I can, saw, I can tell I can tell you how they did it. They took a needle and then didn't like numb her area or nothing. And I saw it like poke through her skin. They did though, didn't they? Did they, they like Did they? I think in the beginning she like put some wipes or something. That made Maybe. It but you see the the needle going through her. But I'm like, your reaction did it not was really, help. Let me finish. Let me okay, finish. Okay, it was okay, relatively okay. like a big, like this size, maybe. This size. And then you see the needle going through it. She was pun- he didn't hesitate. He just punctured it, and then was gonna like dig it out from there. And I'm that's like, why it felt oh. like it's like <laughs> it was. You know how like when people get injured, it's it it hurts. It almost hurts more to watch than to be the one injured. You're like you're injured. You're like oh yeah, I'm hurt. It hurts, but like it's okay. Oh, but really? like the person who watches it feels more pain. At least that's for me. Like when I see like a broke. Like a broken, I don't know, foot or something. It's like, just look away. Oh my god! And then I, I wanted her there for moral support, but then it just like, I was like, please stay behind the curtain, (laughs) Yasmin. I was like, she, she was like, (laughs) Yasmin was so scared. Like she would look like she was gonna like hit the woman. I was like, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> See, still sick. I can't go running like this. Mm-mm. I have to rest. Okay. Not rest. <laughs> uh, always get this excuse for not going to the gym. Even though I, I haven't told been to the gym too much thing. now. Me too! Yay! More than that, is it? Oh, like, Bless. yeah. More than that. Um, I, what you've been doing? Where are you now? I'm in Arkansas visiting a friend, and I had an interview with a huge company. That's very cool. That's <laughs> that was very scary, cool. but Dude. I'm just grateful I was even even had the chance to be interviewed. But um, so happy. Yeah, and how is Arkansas like? It's like it's kind of um, there's nothing much. <laughs> Like when people say, yeah, in the Midwest, there's nothing much, but like the yeah, Arkansas, I mean, I'm I'm not even like in the biggest city. Like I'm mean, just in a small rural town in Fort Smith. Um, there's not, not a lot of diversity, obviously. Oh. So people would, I mean, there's still like, like Latinos or Mexicans. Um, but yeah. So you guys did, did hot pot. I mean, uh, that's like a a crab place. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, it's It's funny. I don't know. I don't know if I showed you, but like they, what's it called? Like a boiling bag. I don't know if that's a Midwest thing, but they basically have a bag filled with air and all the seafoods in there, and then they serve it like on top of a plate with the bag. It's like I think it's called boiling bag. And I was like, wow, why did they cook like that? At first, I know they measure because you measure like half a pound of seafood or one like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. And then they serve it in, in a bag. You no know buffets, <laughs> like seafood buffets here, are not what you think. Like, not what I think. Like, what do you mean? In Asia, seafood buffet is oysters and, um, um, you know, like lobster, crab. I mean, it's yeah. like seafood, right? Like ice, raw, or, or cold seafood. But then seafood here, seafood uh, buffet is all fried and cooked um, already and like, and hot. Like, it, like it's like, the, you know, the oyster is like comes stuffed. It's not like raw oyster. It's not oh, fresh. It's oh, I saw on the menu there was fried oyster, but I didn't want to try yeah because it's like all like stuff that you can like put out again after the next day or something like, that. Um, like it's just that fresh. it's not sun scene yeah sun scene, it, your whole, scene. one thing i'm already like 
full and like ugh, because like so much cheese and ah, yeah, true. It's too they much. use the cheaper stuff to fill your stomach so you don't eat too much seafood. Yeah, and you know, like we we would go to the f- first thing is like the most. Sh- they would always go shrimp and like you know Asians would just get all the shrimp because it's like the freshest thing. Like it's like the most purest form of. The Have you tried lobster roll? Yes, it's good. So good. when I went to like um I love lobster. Cape Cod or something, it's like the you know where Cape Cod is? It's kind of like New England, like near Massachusetts. Anyways, they're known for like lobster roll. And it was like like a tourist thing, right? To get we went to roll. Maine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There. Similar. Like yeah. around there, maybe below, but yeah. We went had lobster roll there and it was like thirty dollars for like a sandwich. So funny, I know. <laughs> I was like, isn't it supposed to be cheaper if it's like more around in the area, but it's more expensive? But yeah. it was like, it was like okay. I don't know. I didn't like maybe the place I went to wasn't so. Good, I just but... like lobster. Lobster is just something that's good, and it's like it's expensive. It's Which the lobster is... that you're paying for. You yeah, know? I know. And then, but at least make it good, dude. Yeah, I know. And my birth, and my birthday, last birthday, I, well, I last last birthday, I don't know. I think. Or was it last birthday? I had lobster. I asked specifically for lobster. And I was like, the, like one very happy girl with lobster, like, you know, eating. I think I remember you showed like, a picture or something. Her treated me like she's like, don't worry about the bill today. Like, all right. And so funny because he got something so small because every time when you get something that's gluten free, you know, like, because it's like rice and stuff, like in those fancy places, usually they come very small. So, like, he yeah. got like a dish like that. And I had a whole lobster to myself <laughs> with sides. And I'm just like, Haha. and I didn't know how to like declaw. I was like, I was making a little mess, but it's like, dude, I ate every part like really nice. It's like, the thing with lobster is that it's so much better than crab because it's like it's bigger and like the stuff comes out like so small. And then it's big. Yeah. Oh my. And God. I tried, I tried crawfish for the first time, like the red ones. Yeah. Don't mind. What's the Chinese name for that? Do you know? No idea. Anyways, I tried it and I was like, mm, I still like shrimp better. Yeah. La Leo Ha is yummy. Oh, I haven't tried have. that. It's hard to for the. Sh- I don't know how to open a shell yet, but but it's so good. Like I've tried. It, I, like, my mom always had it. Like occasionally, she would buy it, and then do this. Let's like a motherfucker it? to open. No, it's like a sea. I guess a sea serp. Uh, how would, would you guess- translate Lai Liu Ha? Pee your pants. Pee in the pants. Shrimp. shrimp? <laughs> Lai Liu means like you peed your pants. That's what it's called. But then I don't, I don't, I don't know what's the English name. Um, but it looks like a centipede. Either. I think it's sea centipede, honestly. Ooh, it, that that's sounds what it so bad. But but it's so good. Like, I, yeah. Whatever that is, it's so good. Lai Liu Ha. <laughs> Maybe because it, it like makes it looks like it's peeing when it goes Do you remember in kindergarten there was a guy whose name sounds like Lai Liu Ha and we keep teasing him like calling him Lai Liu Ha. I have uh, no idea. Say like you were bang. Dime me ha. Poor guy. Anyways. <laughs> God. Well. Um, poor guy. But then what else is there? Um, Long Hai is dragon dragon shrimp. Uh is lobster and ha, so i guess ha is not shrimp ha is like the family of shrimp and then there's also the one that glow in the dark shrimp you know the light in the in the water i saw those in thailand really snorkeling yeah it's just light in the dark you know it's like all right cool i was cold though okay <laughs> but still i was like nice. i if i were there i'd be like so amazed Whoa. I was amazed, so. but then it's like for ten minutes, and I'm like, "All right, I'm done." And then we stop on the boat. Very romantic. But I feel like now this age, I need my vitamins upped, bro. You know? No, maybe I'm still in denial that I'm getting old and I need to take my vitamins. I don't know. Because it, man, that cold was beating me up. I mean, I'm still sick. Like, I still can't go run, you know? Or I'm lazy. 
You have to get better so you can eat good food. Yeah. And when you get here, we'll have good food. And we're watching Messi. Ooh, I know. <laughs> Guys, we're going to see Messi. Messi, yeah. Messi, Messi, <laughs> we're gonna see Moosai and if you're there happen to be there in Miami come say hi yo ha ha imagine well yeah if it's, it's versing I think he's versing Canada for that we'll be yeah. there with our bodyguards <laughs> yeah people were like take pictures with his bodyguard like saying like his bodyguard are like really good at their job or something Oh my god, dude, I can't wait. It would be so cool. I think that would be my first big like soccer game. That's awesome. It's like you're Brazilian, like soccer is inside your blood, even though you play volleyball already. You know, like, but even, but, and then David Beck is such a good connection because David Beckham is so connected to Macau. Like, he's in London Mirror. He's, like, a spokesperson for fans, like... What what was his Venetian. face that he said? In the, in the ad or something? It wasn't, like, going around for a little bit. I forgot. He says a bunch of stuff. He's yeah. everywhere. He's, his face is everywhere. In Macau. In Koh Tai, Macau. Beckham. Beckham. Yeah. Thai way, Beckham. Very handsome man. And then... um. And Messi, he just won the World Cup. Like, dude, we're, it's like, eh, and we're going to be there. It's crazy, you know? It's pretty cool. I want to get merch. I wonder if there's like a, probably, right? I hope it's not too crowded. There should be merch. Damn okay. it, damn There should it. be a merch I'm store. I'm hoping all my Messi to hide. Oh, you Messi came last the time. Last time I was there, Messi wasn't there yet. And so, like, it, in the, the same, like, the ticket um, was very cheap. Field? Oh, yeah, the ticket was very cheap. And we bought merch, but then I, <coughs> I gave my merch to my sister, so I'm gonna buy new merch. Like, excuse to buy new merch because they don't have like a lot of merch. I think I actually really? they actually opened. Maybe like, maybe they added some Miami stuff because David Beckham owns the team, you know. Yeah. So maybe they did sell some stuff, so I should have. How long did I have? But anyways, I'll buy a nicer hat. But yeah. A hat? Like, oh, like you bought the merch. Not a t-shirt? Not the jersey? No, yeah, it's just a hat. Maybe okay. I'll buy a jersey. Maybe let's buy a jersey. I'm going to get a jersey. I'm probably going to get for Denthi, though. Nice. Oh, my God. I can't wait, dude. All right. Hey, uh, my sister asked me this recently. Do you know how to translate Sadum? Sadum is like. Like, how would you uh, translate? Sadum is like, I'd rather die than, than not. Eat. Than, wait, Sadum is like, than eat it. I'd rather die than eat it. No, oh, Sadum, not yet. Sadum, not yet. I'd, I'd rather, rather die, die than, than eat. Like, yeah. I'd rather die. Then so dramatic. I know it is very dramatic. Kwa Jung Sao Fa. Like that is true. When you learn lang- like Chinese as your main language, you learn like the fa, like you know, something fa. It's like the su fa. Right? Su fa's calligraphy. Oops, sorry. I mean <laughs> the fa so of fa. The st- so fa, yes, because quadrang so fa. Yeah, you're right. What else is there? Oh my god, throw throw bay a bay. Bay bay. That's that's a um, metaphor. No, that's comparison. Yeah. And then but, there's. Oh, the German tongue will tang soon. Shit! Forgot everything. <laughs> yeah, Kwajang Sao was the easiest to point out. I That's love why to say it was, that. Like, easy to remember, and yeah. I love to like you know um say it like randomly. Kwajang Sao Fa. I'll be like Kwajang. Okay, Kwajang. What else is there? 
Um, at one is rhyme. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> at one. <laughs> at one is rhyme, and the word is so unrhymable. At one. <laughs> at, <laughs> at one. Um. Um. Yeah, do be quite a hell of that. Um, fuck die. It's copy. <laughs> Keep saying paste. <laughs> control C, control V. I don't know. Bay, I I only know that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what? Tongi Chi. No, uh, synonym. That means synonym. Synonym bonds. <laughs> so <gasps> fancy. <gasps> so Deep fancy. Deep chi. Give me an example of deep chi. Man, man, hang. Man, man, day. Uh, uh, quack quack jung, quack quack jung jung. Is that it? Adjective. Or what about like you know five five day, my man day. Yeah, that's an adjective. Day like add this is like. Oh, true. Add day and it becomes a adjective. Another one. Quack quack day. Sausage. This is sausage. Ding ding day. Chit chit day. Cow cow day. You're deep. Like sausage day. Like, yeah, yeah. Pile. You pile the words up. I think that's what deep means. So like, double the word to emphasize. Emphasize. We like to emphasize. emphasize. I feel like there's so many vocabulary I don't know in English enough because we grew up with Chinese, but That's then we true. spoke mostly English now. I know. Like bilingual. <laughs> you heard, you saw that? Bilingual. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. true. <laughs> bilingual. Uh, now we're like unfluent and everything. <laughs> what else is there? Um, Meiji. Mei yum, mei yum. How do you teach people when to use the word la? Oh my god, that's a hard one. There's so many. Mm -hmm. La, ah, hola, hi la, me, me, mo a, mo la ha, la ha, hi le, ah, come my hi le, lo, lo, oh, hmm. 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 It's funny how like voice message is more of a thing in Macau than it is here. Like I voice message with you, but I don't voice message with anybody else. Like no one else. Like they would be like, "Why do you just voice message me?" But like if they're on WeChat, we just click the button, we talk, and then like. I don't mind it because I'm always home. And honestly, it's better so I can hear how you say it. Because sometimes mm. reading it, you don't misunderstand. Like, yeah. yeah. How they That's say true, it. True. And you misunderstand. That's what I think too. Sometimes I forget that too. So I think I'd rather record my voice now. Just to avoid any misunderstandings. Because sometimes I type weirdly. Like, you know, like the front part, sometimes in the back part. And then so it's like, it's the, kind the of sentence a structuring. <laughs> yeah, the sentence structure, like it, like kind of like fucks it up. And it's because we of think bilingual. Chinese. Yeah, it's always like upside down, like occasionally, right? And it's, that's why we always end things with no, like because we always have to, <laughs> we forget to like make it into a question. Because usually when you make a question, it's like are you blah blah blah. But in yeah. a question in Chinese, <laughs> it's still like a Chinese like the sentence. Oh, that's true. Like that. So the expression is at the do, end. It's yeah. not like the beginning of the sentence. Yes. Like, did you do it? The jo jo is like, is, mm. You did it. Or you do it. You did it. It's still or jo jo or jo le jo jo la. Le or jo jo. See, the question is or le jo jo la. Like it's like it's like 
the way you say it. Yeah. And then maybe when you write it though, it's like Nei Zhou Liu Mu Yao. It's so Zhou Liu Mu Yao. I tell her when you write Yo, it. Yo, we should try like at some point speak in Cantonese, but in like written Cantonese. Yeah. Like conversationally. I bet you Quebec did it also. Like, but yeah, it's like so True. funny. And and so different and that's why like when you say it though it's like so simple because all you have to do is how you say it like they jo jo meya that's a question and then they mm. all jo jo that's the answer i did it you see and that's a big that's a big thing already about cantonese it's all about circumstances and how you say it on text yeah on text and that's why like when we speak english but go like you did it no like you did it already like <laughs> or, did you instead of did you do it like it's like you did it no <laughs> yeah it's like you did it no like yeah so instead of like yeah the other way and I Is think like Filipino bilingual thing? people also maybe no <laughs> no <laughs> I did it there um yeah uh if you guys have any suggestions for South Florida for us let us know yes because we're gonna be together next week. Our stomachs are ready. Contact. Yes. And yeah, feel free to get us free food. Anyone that is, wants a master's degree scholarship and is also a lady from the Americas and Caribbean, you got to check out USJ, man. Yes, check, check out USJ and an international university in Macau. Um, so feel at home, like connect with people all around the world and experience the Cantonese culture as well. But the and tourists, food. the tourist scene is so rich in Macau that you can get by with English. Yeah, it will be an adventure, guys. And when you get to Macau, you can also travel around Asia because it's in the center of Asia countries. So, like, when you're in doing your master's, you get a lot of free time, you know, and traveling is going to be great, all right? And we so, have the links below, so check out the site for more info. Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to send us an uh, anonymous voice message, do so in our speak pipe. Link below as well. Peace. Okay. Oh.